Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with the GE Tech A10M. Friends, the other day I showed you how to bump the firmware all the way up to 492 using Vert's cool firmware tool. Today, friends, I'm going to walk you through those menus so you can see what kind of options we have available. All right, so starting from the main screen, we've got motion. Inside the motion, you've got your move access, home, home X, home Y. Home Z, Unified Bed Level, Leveling the Corners, and Disabling the Steppers. Moving down to Temperature, you've got your Nozzle, Bed, Fan Speed 1, 2, and 3, Preheat PLA and Pet G, Preheat for PLA and Pet G. Let's move on down to the Mixer menu. And we've got the Active V tool. We've got the Mix. We've got the Toggle Mix. We've got Reset V tools. And we've got Gradient T0 to T1 and Reverse Gradient. Let's back out and move down and check out what's in Configuration. First, let's pop into this Advanced Settings menu. And under there, we've got the Velocity, Acceleration, jerk steps per millimeter temperature filament and the initialize below the advanced settings we've got the runout center and the preheat pla and pet g configurations we can store our settings load settings and we can also restore defaults let's scroll down and find the tools and under tools we've got a unified bed leveler uh just point near pid tune the hot end pid tune the bed We've got Unconditional Stop, Park the Tool Head, Emergency Stop, Show the SD Print Name, Enable and Disable Cold Extrude, Dwell 30 Seconds, Auto Cold Pull, and Nozzle Change. So let's zip on down to the filament section, and we can change for E1, E2, we can load for E1, E2, we can unload all or unload either E1 or E2. If we check out the About Printer, we have the Printer Info, Board Info, and Thermistors. Let's drop into Printer Info. You can see it shows Build 492. And it also has the information about extruders, bed leveling, and so on and so forth. Let's roll on down. I'm going to skip past change media because that just changes your SD card. But if we go to the print for media, this is one of my favorite things. When you're inside here and you click on a long file name, it actually scrolls all the way across, allowing you to read the entire file name. Alrighty friends, so as you can see, Vert has put a ton of cool additions into this firmware. Don't forget, check out his site. You can find him. I'll have the link up above. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.